So guys, it's Ebony Green living here and today I am back with another flip through and today I am flipping through of Hannah from Pepper and Pond's beautiful, 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 beautiful Ocean Main Lesson Block Curriculum. <laughs> and I am so, so, so excited to share. So I want to just jump right in with this flip through because I have so much I want to say about it and I don't want this video to be super long. I want to start off by saying how proud I am of Hannah. I have known her over four years and I knew that this was a baby that she wanted to do. And so to come to fruition has been absolutely phenomenal. Words cannot express the gratitude, the excitement, the joy that I have to share this moment with her. <laughs> Look, it's not even my moment, but I'm sharing it with her because <laughs> I know the hard work and all the labor and all the time that went into this and I am excited and I just wanted to share it with you guys. I want to start off by saying how beautiful this is. You could just look at the cover and see that and if you know Hannah, you know that she doesn't let anything go that's not very well done and so all I can say is job well done. From the very first page to the very last, I personally was impressed. It starts off with a great table of contents, so you're very clear on what you are doing. She goes ahead then and goes into the introduction. She talks about what a main lesson block is. She talks about how it's different from a unit study. She goes further to talking about opening activities and mental maps, music, singing, songs, modeling, clay, games, exercise, spiritual studies, narration. And what I love most is that this PDF, because you will download and decide if you want to print some or all of it on your own. Um, I love that because it's a PDF, we have the option to have extras and use them in our homeschools with our days if we so choose. For example, she has a video on how to do a main lesson block. And if you click on the link, it takes you directly to the video. So the next um, page or the next section as we're going through, you'll see that some of the things are written in blue. And that is for games like Ocean Bingo. And so there's a link to Amazon for you to be able to do that. And she also includes resource materials, materials for activities. She includes read elapse and maps and atlas and all these things are in blue so that it's easy for you to know and to understand. One of the reasons that I love this outside of its beauty is I love how raw it is. And when I say raw, it gives us a up close and personal view of what's really going on inside of a typical water up inspired home. So I love that she gives us the rough drafts for narrations. I like that she gives us the samples of the final drafts. Um, I really love all of the images that she gives us from her chalkboards. I absolutely love chalkboard drawings. And so if you guys know any YouTube videos that teaches you how to do a better job out of than I do, my little stick figures, I would absolutely love to watch it because I do love chalk drawings. But I also love how she shows you samples of her students using watercolor um, that she shows samples of her students using the um, watercolor pencils. And I just think that that is so beautiful. It's like every less than 10 pages, you're seeing some type of artwork. And I think it's absolutely amazing because Sometimes when we get this material, we buy different books, we see the finished product that the teacher is given. I love that her children are partaking in this illustration process and we're getting to see their work and that makes me happy and my children absolutely love it. So I am super excited about that. She does have a few experiments in here and she does have videos that help you walk through it. I think for sure, probably one of my favorite part is seeing the chalk drawings and seeing the students' artwork. So those are some things that I really, really love. I love that she gives you some suggested um, narrations that you can use. And for every um, unit, she goes ahead and does, you know, tell you upfront the materials that are needed, etc. So I feel that this book gives you all the information that you need. Now, if you have the resources and you're able to 
um, purchase a lot of these books and games and things like that, that is absolutely perfect. But since you guys know my channel is all about budget friendly things, I want to go ahead and break that down to you. My thoughts on that. Okay. So maybe you already have a few books on Ocean. Maybe there's a few books that are interesting to you. Maybe you just have $40 that you can get a couple of games. Go ahead and get the games that you can get. Go ahead and grab the resources that you already have. And if this is not something that you're interested in doing in the way that it was intended, which I think is an amazing idea, something you can do is use this for A, the artwork, by um, seeing if you can replicate the chalk drawings, if you love chalk drawings, this is a really great guide for you. Or if you just wanna incorporate some of the artwork, I feel like this is a great way for your children to see other children's artwork and watercolor and things like that and be inspired. So I think that is phenomenal as well. I don't want you to feel like because I can't buy all the books that she used and all the materials that she used, I can't do that because that's not true. Because actually, um, like for lesson five, she actually has poems in here. So there's just so, this book is full of rich resources and I don't think that because you can't do some of it, you shouldn't do any of it. Um, I think the major things you need is your main lesson block, color pencils or watercolor watercolor paper and maps. I think if you have that, you really can have a great, great lesson because you can add your own read aloud and you can add on your own additional reading. And um, even with the projects, you can just make it work according to whatever you have. So this is my review. Again, I am well pleased. I think that this was a job well done. I don't look at this and have any questions. Now, I did receive this a few weeks ago, and I do apologize. It has taken me so long to upload it, forgive me, or to print it, to share. But I was trying to wait for my items from Rainbow Resources to come because <laughs> we are going to do this soon. We've always done Exploring Natures with children, um, and so what I decided was I really want to dive into this Ocean's main lesson block that's inspired here from Pepper and Pine. And so I went ahead and placed all of my orders and I've just been waiting. I was like, you know what? I don't have to wait. I can do this now and come back later. All right, guys. So that was the flip through. I hope you enjoyed and loved it as much as I did and as I do. Um, if you will come back next week, I will share with you the resources that I have ordered to accompany this um, unit, this lesson block. I am so excited about this. Tell me in the description box below, have you checked this out? Have you thought about um, her curriculum? What did you think about this? flip through. It just looks like something you would use, something that you wouldn't use. If you have used oak metal, like I've used in the past, or if you've used um, oak metal or any of the other Wardoff inspired Wardoff curriculas, um, let me know what you think about this one and how you feel this matches uh, with those. So I just want to have some open conversations with you guys and see what you're thinking and what your thoughts are. But guys, can we just Give a round of applause one more time for how beautiful <laughs> and how well done that was. Okay, I won't hold you anymore, but come back because I have so many more goodies that I want to share with you guys. As always, thank you for choosing to spend time with me. I love you so very much. Remember, you can do a lot with a little. And until next time, blessings to you.